Hey guys, it's Mad Morta, and this is going to be the first part of my Wii Remote Zapper Gun work log. Um, I think this will have two parts, but it may be three, depending on uh, kind of how fast this goes. Um, I actually have quite a bit of it done, um, as far as casework goes at least. Um, and so, basically, this is an NES Zapper Gun, which is one of these. Um, if you remember from the NES, Duck Hunt, um, you could use it to point at the screen and shoot stuff. But these guns don't work on modern day TVs because the TVs are made differently. So, um, I kind of felt bad. So I was like, you know, I have some extra Wii remotes that I don't need and I'm not using. So, um, I'm going to try putting a Wii remote inside of one of these. So, so far it's looking 100% doable without too much effort. Um... I chose to use the orange gun because I wanted the black trigger. Um, the gray one I think looks a lot nicer and has a red trigger, but I wanted the black because no matter what color scheme I go with uh, with this, um, black will match whatever it is, whereas red might not. So um, you can see it's got these holes here. Um, oh, first of all, I'm keeping the original trigger. This is the original Zapper gun trigger, and that is actually making my life hard, but um, here you can see that I actually have a Wii Remote stuffed in there. Um, it did work last time I used it, um, but to be fair I took a couple things off. Um, I did a little bit of sanding since then. So you can tell that, um, I mean, maybe you can't tell, but it's supposed to be this wide, but at the top it's a lot it's a lot thinner, and that's because I sanded this down. Um, and then I tested it and it still worked. Um, and then I sanded a little bit more, like right here, um, and it should still work, but to be fair, I haven't tested it since then. Um, but this is my this is my Wii Remote, and um, fully functional as far as I know. I moved this capacitor. Um, it will have to sit this way, and in order for this to sit on top of it, I had to put these holes here to go around this and this and this. I could have you know relocated them somewhere else, but this was just easier. Um, this would be a lot easier if I didn't want to keep this huge thing. If I wanted like a smaller trigger, I could just 3D print one. But I really like this. I like that this is exposed so I can solder to it and I like that it keeps like the original feel. Um, but it does fit in there um, on top of this, you know, pretty perfectly if I can get it with one hand. Um, and, you know, the whole thing closes just fine. So plenty of room. Um, one of the, the things that um, I came across trying to figure out was that the Wii Remote um, takes 3 volts from two double A's in series, and double A's are 1.5 volts each, so that's 3 volts. Um, although I'm pretty sure you can run, run it off of 3.3, um, so I'm gonna, I may just do that. Um, so let's see, um, the, I removed the bottom, um, the nunchuck port right here, and I will have to pull that off of a different Wii Remote. And I'm going to remove this as well um, and get that off of a different Wii Remote um, if I can and um, and just wire it back. So basically this this uh, infrared sensor right here is going to be up here um, and it's going to be looking out so you can point at your screen like a Wii Remote and pull the trigger and the trigger will push either the A or B button depending on how, how you have it set up. So let me show you. You can see that I did some Franken casing here. That's the that's the D-pad from a Wii Remote. And that's what these holes are. That's one and two and then minus home plus, I think. Or it could be plus minus home, I'm not sure, I don't remember. It's probably plus, this is probably plus. Um, and this is A. So um, normally by default this is going to be B and this is going to be A. Really, the reason why I did that is because A was easier to Franken-case in than B was, and also I really want to put an LED or two lighting up the A button since it's clear. I've always wanted to do that, and here's my chance, so I'm going to do that. Um, you can see that I put a little square right here, and that is for a switch, so that I can flip this switch, and what that will do is it will switch the A and B button, so that for different games, you know, one game might require you to push the B button to shoot, and another one might have you push the A button. Um, and B might be, you know, reload or something. So what it is, is it just switches what these two are. So this could be either A or B, depending on how you want it to be. Um, but you can reach, reach everything. You can see that my fingers wrap around and can reach those. This can reach this. Um, 
I mean, it's, it's a bit of a stretch, but I have kind of smallish hands, so. Um, that's where this is. Um, I was thinking about batteries, and um, I couldn't think of an easy and convenient way to do, you know, replaceable batteries like the like the double A's. And then I thought, you know, I don't really even need that. That would be so much easier to just have a rechargeable battery in here. So I went looking at rechargeable Wii Remote batteries, and it turns out that those are terrible. Um, and I'm like, you know what, though? I don't even need that because I can fit one of these cells. These are 18650 lithium ion cells, and they will last a long time in a Wii Remote. I mean, a really, really long time. Um, so looking at this, um, the way I have it, I should be able to fit two in here. I'm only going to do one, but just theoretically for anyone else looking to do something similar. Um, if you want to keep the original trigger, you should be able to fit at least two of these in here. Um, but if you don't keep the original trigger or you trim the Wii Remote down more, um, which I'm looking at maybe doing in the future, um, um, not, not for this project, but for a different thing, I'd like to see how far you can trim the Wii Remote. So if you do it a little differently, you could probably fit like like a whole bunch of these in and just never ever ever charge your Wii Remote. Um, so this is actually one of those rechargeable phone batteries. Um, it was a candidate in um, what might have been my Wii Portable battery, but got turned down. So um, I'm going to be getting something just like this, but with only one cell and a protection circuit. So you can't just wire up one cell, you have to have a little circuit with it. And these that were charged phones put out five volts. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to take like a little regulator, just like the ones on my Wii Portable here, just like these, um, and step it down to either 3.3 or 3 volts. Um, and that way it's, you know, it's getting what it needs. Um, I actually spent way too much time thinking about how to do that. It turned out to be a really simple solution was, it just, was just to stick one of these in here. Um, so let me show you kind of where these can fit. They fit in here just about perfectly. Um, ignore the tape. Um, but if this weren't here, you could also fit one here. Um, the problem with that is that this actually takes up, you know, to here. So I think my battery will probably end up being right about there. And then I'll have my little, um, my sensor right in front of it. So, um, so sensor, battery, switch, you know, all the way around. So I'm only going to do one of these because for real, like, it should last a really long time. Um, so um, that is um, the plan with the batteries. Um, I am going to be trying out uh, my airbrush with this. Oh, hang on, I forgot something I lost. Um, with this part, this goes like on the outside of the zapper gun to make it look cooler, um, which is why mine looks less cool right now. Um, so I did drill like a hole in there with my Dremel to, you know, make that, make that fit. Um, but yeah, so the plan is to airbrush this, um, and to theme it like a game, like I normally do with most of my cosmetic mods. Um, I usually pick a game and then I, and then I theme it around, you know, the color scheme and designs of that game. So since this is a Wii Remote, um, and it'll be playing Wii games, um, I'd like it to be a Wii game that is a shooter. And of course, you know, my, my go-to is Metroid, but Metroid doesn't have, I mean, you know, Samus's main gun isn't like this. It's like, it's like her arm cannon. So, um, I decided on Resident Evil 4 because that's a solid game. Um, and I like the, I like the... Uh, Umbrella Corporation colors, and it's got a very clear logo that I can do, so um, I want to try out my uh, my airbrush. My sister got me an airbrush for my birthday last year, and I haven't gotten around to using it um, because I haven't been doing a lot of these kind of mods. Um, the last one I did was the Castlevania Game Boy, and that was just brick, so there wasn't really anything to airbrush, but for this I'm definitely going to be trying out my airbrush um, with some different paints, so um, I need to, um, I need to finish with this. Oh, here's all the, you can see the inside. That's what those look like. Um, you can see, oh, I had to plug this up too. I 3D printed a little plug and put it in there. Um, I tried to Bondo all the, 
the textured handles away, but they're still kind of there. Um, and I'm kind of okay with that because it's not, it's subtle and it's not like obvious that this doesn't have that. So, um, I'm actually very okay with that. Um, kind of like a subtle grip, um, as opposed to the really obvious one that it had before. Um, that's just Bondo glazing the spot putty. Um, so I have to get the battery and then wire it up, um, to the Wii remote and make sure that's still working. Um, and, oh, hang on, last thing. It will be able to support a nunchuck, so it's going to be like a full, full Wii remote at point. It has all the buttons, except for the power button, actually. The power button, I believe I'll be leaving off, although maybe I might just stick it, like, you know, back here or somewhere it's not going to get bumped. Um, I mean, you never know, but, um, I, I just didn't think it, you know, that that was something it needed, and because it sits so low, you know, if I paint it, it's going to be, um, kind of down in there, although for the home button, that's okay, because it's going to be, like, you know, right there, I don't want it getting pushed, but, um, it will have nunchuck functionality, I put the, the nunchuck hole here, um, and it's, it's, I'm still doing the Bondo a little bit. Um, the trick is to Bondo and then put primer, but I'm actually out of primer, so I have to kind of put this off for a little while. Um, and this hole will be the charging hole. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it looking like that. I might, just out of laziness, if the plug's the right size. Um, but I also might just, you know, frank encase a new hole to make it look nice. Um, but, I mean, that's pretty much the right exact size for a plug, so uh, I might just keep it. Um, so that is my idea for the zapper gun. Um, the last thing that I would say is that I really try hard not to do stuff that someone else has done before in the same way. Um, and I, so if, of course I get this home, I'm like, yes, this is a great idea. And I look it up to make sure that no one else has done it. And I found two different things. Um, one of them was a very close up picture of like some, you know, plus home minus I don't know, D-pad or something, buttons over here. And it was a really close-up like this, so you couldn't tell if, like, the whole thing was a Wii remote or not. And I wasn't able to find the source for that, so there's really no way to tell, you know, what, what that project was. And the other one, um, was, like, um, I don't, I don't remember. I think it was, like, like, a Wii remote plugged into it or something. It was something different than what I'm doing, so... I'm confident that no one else has done it, at least in the same way that I'm doing it. Um, plus, it's going to be, you know, themed. It's going to be pretty, because I haven't done anything pretty in a while, and um, I miss doing that stuff. So, um, this is going to be my project uh, while I work on my Wii Portable, which hopefully I will update soon, because I finally got the pieces that I need to continue on with that and update. Um, so, that's coming soon as well. So, um, thank you guys for watching.